thinking and this is what we call as meta memory so in this section we would understand what is meta memory the characteristics and the types of meta memory to begin with as i said it is actually thinking about thinking so i can say meta memory is a subset of meta cognition which is knowing about knowing so from knowing to thinking we say it is meta memory now this meta memory has certain characteristics firstly it focuses on factual knowledge whatever is factual knowledge about the memory task about the thoughts about the process in the thoughts the second is it focuses on memory self efficacy how uh, good is memory and how much we can actually demand in the case of uh, memory requirements the next is memory uh, related affect so it to uh, talks about the memory demand generating situations and finally we can monitor it so those are the basic ideas under meta memory so we understand the factual knowledge we understand the self efficacy we understand memory related affect and then we also focus on memory monitoring now this me meta memory me meta memory can be actually understood under three parts the first component is the declarative meta memory it is similar to uh, the declarative memory that we have talked about but it helps to evaluate the memory concepts the next is procedural meta memory and the third is the belief meta memory belief meta memory is associated with the knowledge the ideas uh, the social cognition and the judgment power the procedural meta memory focuses on how good the memory actually performs how good is the performance of the memory so there are two elements first is we can understand the process of control and the next is monitoring the procedural meta memory so under control it's just the regulatory part the planning the selection of information the allocation of uh, decisions under monitoring we basically focus on self assessment how well we can assess whether the situation can be handled carefully or not uh, how well judgments can be placed and then under the declarative meta memory where we focus on evaluating the concepts of memory there are three elements first is the knowledge of content so we must be very very well versed with the content the next is the knowledge about task what is the task why do we actually want to pursue and do that task and finally is the conditional knowledge and this conditional knowledge is a knowledge which is required for optimum performance so if i say so and so is the condition i if i am well versed with that concept probably my performance would be much better than the other candidates and therefore conditional knowledge is a prerequisite here so conditional knowledge again an important part so all these are three important types or we can say the components of meta memory that help us understand that mem meta memory is very very essential it focuses on thinking about thinking focuses on the concepts of uh, the the sub branches of metacognition and this concept was laid down back in 1970s a relatively new concept given by fevel john fevel uh, who propounded this concept of meta memory so in this section we have covered what is meta memory in psychology uh, we would be covering many more interesting topics and the complete video lectures are available at doorstep tutor wish you a very good luck have a wonderful day ahead